28 in October. Ruiz, nine years younger. The height nearly even. Exact same reach at Thursday's weigh in. Thursday, Ruiz was 10 pounds heavier than Holyfield. He was only three pounds heavier in the first fight. And the key rules for this championship fight, no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. The fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth round, it's a no contest. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the scorecard. So here at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, getting ready for our main event, the WBA Heavyweight Championship, Evander Holyfield versus John Ruiz, the rematch. Let's get the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, before we present our featured bout of the evening at this time, I'd like to ask you to rise for the singing of our national anthem. In the ring to lead us, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome talented recording artists. Have a hand of welcome to Four Shades. Oh, say can you see early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose frost stripes and bright stars through the perilous Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Don King Productions in association with Showtime Event Television, the Mandalay Bay, the undisputed king of beers, Budweiser, and I1.com, $10,000 awarded daily. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Dr. Elias Cordova, along with the Nevada State Athletic Commission, the Chairman is Dr. Elias Ghanem, Commissioners Amy Ayub, Glenn Carano, Dr. Flip Pomansky, and Dr. Luther Mack, the Executive Director is Mark Ratner. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From Johannesburg, South Africa, Stanley Christodoulou. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Chuck Jumper. 
Also from Las Vegas, Patricia Jarman Manning. And the third man of the ring, our referee in charge, working in this his 139th world title bout, Joe Cortez. All right, fans, here we go with our main event of the evening, the last word. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas, it's showtime! Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing black trunks, hailing from Chelsea, Massachusetts, by way of Savannah Grande, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 227 pounds with a record of 36 wins, four losses. He has 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he attempts to become the first Latino to win the heavyweight title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBA number three ranked contender, the challenger known as the quiet man, introducing John. Opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the defending world champion presenting on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with multicolor trim, fighting out of and representing his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. He weighed in at a ready 217 pounds with a record of 37 wins, four losses, one draw. He has 25 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is one of boxing's true warriors, the only man in history to hold the heavyweight title four times. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current WBA heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Evander, the real deal. Charge. All right, gentlemen, we run over the rules of the dressing room. This fight for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. I expect good sportsmanlike conduct. Remember, these punches here are low. Up here, they're good. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch them up. All right, let's play the ring. Ruiz, one look at Holyfield, different referee and judges for the first fight. You recall at the start of the original fight, Holyfield seemed surprised when Ruiz came out so fast. He spent the opening seconds fending Ruiz off. Interesting to see if Holyfield tries to get the jump on Ruiz here in the rematch. We're still not fully convinced of Ruiz's chin. He looks like he's ready to sprint out. If Holyfield is busier, lands cleanly, especially with the big right, it could be a short night. Here we go. Holyfield Ruiz to oh, stop. And right away. Just, what, what them has inside. Some rough house tactics. I think Evander Holyfield is going to try and unload at least one or two good shots early to let John Ruiz know this is an all new and improved, brand new, real deal. There's a stiff left jab by Evander Holyfield as he stuffed it effectively. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, that is not a knockdown. He was pulled down by. Feel we seem to be picking up where we left off with all the pushing and grabbing and pulling. You're going to notice John Ruiz is going to try and he's working his way in. He's not smothering his punches quite the same oh, way he did stop, last time, stop. but he's still no, no, looking no, no. to get inside Holyfield's power range. Come on, guys, come on, let's go, guys. No rough tactics, guys. Ruiz go, guys. thought he, he drifted from his game plan of the first fight. He doesn't want to slug oh, with stop, Holyfield. Stop, stop, he wants stop, to stay stop. on the outside. Hey, guys. Come here. Come Jab here. Come and out a quick early you conference. Got control now, okay? No rough tactics. Cortez wants to take charge. <laughs> Ruiz just missing with that right hand. You notice John Ruiz worked his way all the way in and then held. 
Evander did tie him up. He tied up Evander. He's still worried about the shots coming back. Holyfield working the jab. Right hand by Ruiz. Ruiz looking very confident. All right, let him out. Bring out. Bring out. Let him out. Something Evander said he wasn't going to do this time is wait. And he's still waiting quite a bit. Yeah, he's not getting up first. Pretty good right hand of the jaw bring out, bring out, by bring Ruiz. Out. Evander countered with a nice right hand, too. Right now, John's got the lead. A little more active. Now working Evander right now, but this is very, very early. Ruiz pushing Holyfield back, which is a good thing to do. That was one of your keys to victory. John Ruiz does not fight well going backwards and against a sharpshooter like Evander. That would be right, break. death. Break out, Lee. Break out. Joe Cortez has been a busy man here in the opening round. Under 30 seconds. This fight is going to be a lot of punching, a lot of holding on inside. Right, Trust me, Steve. Break out, break out, on the guys. inside, Ruiz is going to tie hold and fill up every chance he gets. And some holding and hitting by both the fighters. Here's a good left jab by Ruiz as he stuffed it in. All right, hold, 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 when he starts rushing, you got to bump him. Okay. Feigning, make him rush, step to the side and punch Connolly. That's all you have to do is punch three, four punches at a time and we're in the bottom. Get back quick. If they ever break, right? Get yeah. back quick. A little water. Keep your hands up. Keep banging Keep the hands up. 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 Keep yeah, let's see what he does here. Don Turner just reminded him. Look, set him up. Two, three at a time. Two, three, four. Let him flow. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> lot of movement by both. Each looking for the little opening. Continues to stick the jab. But we haven't seen him uh, follow it up yet. A little abrasion underneath the left eye of Ruiz already. Body shot with the left by Holyfield. Holyfield starting to counter now, starting to react, throwing two or three backs to the one. John's still pressing, got a lot of energy. And they're very, very experienced in the big ones. Ruiz weighs 10 pounds more. Ruiz already. Underneath the left eye, it's beginning to blow up. You notice that? Nice double left hook by Holyfield, body and head, and a right hand to the temple. Right, bring up, bring up to me, bring up. Bring up to me, guys. That left eye could be a developing problem for Ruiz. It's a nice right hand, I believe. I saw one, and that eye is swelling quick. Could have been a clash of heads, but I didn't see it. it may have been the result of a punch. Right, bring up, bring up. Take him out. Take him out. Halfway through round two. A lot of head movement by Ruiz. All right, break up, break up, break up. Hold on, hold on. You got to get one. Come on, let's go. John Reese's corner said you're falling in. He leans forward like that. He falls in. That's dangerous for both fighters in the head category. He's pushing Holyfield back, swarming. Straight right hand on the head by Ruiz. And then Holyfield just drags him into the ropes. Another right hand that was blocked by Holyfield. He's trying to smother Holyfield's punches. Get off and smother. Get off and smother. I don't know how long Holyfield will let this happen, 
but that's how I thought he got out hustled and now worked in the first play. First play. And Holyfield seems to be waiting too long, which was the case of the first fight. Under 30 seconds, round two. It's a better round for Holyfield, though. He's landed some good counter combinations. John's still taking the fight to him. Effective jab by Ruiz, and then he lands with a right. It's been Ruiz who's been getting off first. And then a lot of tugging by Holyfield. As he's holding on to Ruiz, pulling him along. That left eye looks really bad for Ruiz. Good left right combination of the head, follow by a left hook by Ruiz at the bell. Do what you gotta do, we got a bad eye. Give him some. Johnny, box him, baby. Box him, Johnny. Man. Get Here, let me get this. This is the most important thing right now. Ruiz out working if you're getting the better of him until that uppercut comes in and really lands right on that eye. There's a nice uppercut also by Ruiz. All right, seconds up. Seconds up. Super slow mo. Again, John Ruiz just trying to outwork Holyfield. That uppercut started to change things. But Evander gets hit in one of those. Uppercuts as well. I think Ruiz, as in the first fight, is out working Holyfield. We enter round three. Holyfield digging to the body with the left hand. Oh, break out, break out, clean, break out. And the end fighting. As Ruiz tries to smother Holyfield's punch. Don't be holding, don't be holding, don't be holding. Once in a while, though, on the inside, Holyfield's getting free. And Ruiz is allowing him. Some leverage. Evander's not got the timing get yet. Get John Ruiz is ducking in, cutting the get distance up, in up, half up. so that Come Ruiz on, up, is inside up, the power up, zone up. where Holyfield's punches are going to lose some of the starch. See, as that right hand starts hitting, it's already off to the side by his shoulder. He's inside the power zone. Norm Stone worked feverishly on that clean, clean, welt clean, underneath clean. the left eye of Ruiz with the end swell. Let's go to Jim Bray for a report on Ruiz's eye. All right, Steve, uh, Dr. Berlin, one of the attending ring physicians here, looked at Ruiz's eye in between rounds. He says it's swelling pretty quickly. It's about ready to close. There's not a whole lot of vision, even at this point, even though it appears to still be open. He's concerned as the fight goes on that it will be a major concern for John Ruiz, and he will monitor it every round. Steve? Thank you, Jim. It would be a, a shame if the fight uh, came to a uh, conclusion because of the eye. Well, I'll tell you, Ruiz complained about something near Joe Cortez. If it was a low blow, I didn't see it. And then Joe Cortez, combination after that happened, said to Vander, keep him up a little bit. Vander needs to work behind the jab. He's not using the jab enough. There it is. There it is. On cue. Ruiz with a body shot right on the belt with the left hand. But he didn't follow up. Holyfield doubling up on the jab. Ruiz going to the body. Bring out, bring out, bring out. But Ruiz not doing what he said he wanted to do more of. And that is move around the ring, fight from the outside, don't slug it out with Holyfield, jab more, and throw more combinations. Now, John Ruiz is fighting, he cannot fight backwards. He has to stop and come forward. He doesn't fight going backwards. Vander is a better fighter going backwards than Ruiz. Ruiz tying Holyfield up here. And then winging with a left cup to the grazing blow. Holyfield's getting mad now, and so is Ruiz. Yeah, Ruiz is not getting the better. He's inside fighting confrontation, Steve. Got the crowd on its feet. What I got? Water? Give me the inchwell. Come on, Kevin, you pull it. Yo, he dropped this one. You fucking asshole. That's your hat. 
Take it easy. Take it easy. You call me nothing like that. Gig! Please, Ronnie. Come on, Johnny. You couldn't have listen, fucking Johnny. done it, kid, right? Listen, no, you gotta Johnny, fuck. listen, Johnny. Johnny, he's a back to the game. Get back to your bar. He's walking right into your jam, but you're throwing slow punches. You gotta throw fast Use punches. Use your Johnny. jam. Quick punches. Bing, bing. Combination. You gotta show fast punches, Johnny. You understand? No, come on. You're understand fighting this guy's fight. an easy fight, Johnny. Use fast your jab. Fast punches. Fast punches. All right? Get back with the jab. Nice quick jab. Johnny, right hand. Oh, 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 come he's on. laying the fucking left hand out. And he's making go outside of you. That's right. Okay. That's right. Let's speed, go, man. Speed, come speed, on, speed. come on. You can do it. Your hands are falling. Your feet. You don't have to work all night if you don't want them. Cut it short. The tension coming to a boil in that Ruiz corner as Norm Stone was looking for the end swell, and he got into it there with uh, Gabe LaMarca. Round four. Break up, break up, break up. Tide's turning a little earlier in this fight than it did in the last. Fuck it off. Oh, 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 it was the last round of the first fight. Come here, come here, come here. tactics there as they. You guys have a problem? You have a problem? All right, give me a clean fight, all right? No rough tactics. Let's go. More warnings from uh, Joe Cortez. Remember that uh, Ruiz was wobbled toward the end of the third round of the first fight, but Holyfield couldn't finish him off. He just didn't have the energy. You know, John Ruiz keeps pulling in, right? As, as he fires in, he pulls inside. In the inside there, whether it's Holyfield's hands, oh, break up, break you know, the gloves, the fists, the please. elbows, the break shoulders, the head, a lot of things are going to damage that eye. He doesn't need to be in that tight. And I'm a little perplexed by it as well. And I'm sure uh, Ruiz's corner is not too thrilled either. Hey, bring up, bring Ruiz up. grimacing as Holyfield went low. Holyfield looks like he's lo loading up a little too much, looking for one big shot. I mean, the double jab and right hand is nice, but he looks like he's waiting on something, and I can't understand what. Oh, there's a big right hand to the head by Ruiz. And Ruiz with a left-right combination to the head. I think I heard you say that a few times in the last fight. Not sure what he's waiting for. Watch your hands inside, guys. Watch them head. Watch them head. Both he's definitely guys. been more active in this fight. This fight's not a hand. Nice uppercut. Left right uppercut hand. to the chin by Ruiz, but it was one and done. That left hook by Holyfield was blocked by Ruiz. Ruiz with a left hook to the head. And those shots were blocked by the arms of Ruiz. By Holyfield. Holyfield's rhythm seems to be a little off. He's missing some of the punches on the way in offensively, and he's missing blocking some defensively. And Ruiz is connecting with the right hand. With a little more regularity. Final seconds of round four. They may have banged heads and there's blood on the forehead of Ruiz. Norm Stone questioning Joe Cortez about the headbutt. Come on, Stone, get the work in. What is it? Stone. That's it. Joe Cortez informing uh, Norm Stone it was accidental. Oh, shit! Oh, he was coming in. Come on, Joe! Don't get his eyes. Come on, Joe! They collided heads. Come on, Joe! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Accidental headbutt. For Christ's sake, we got one last time! Accidental headbutt. Give me the Vaseline. Give me the Vaseline. Norm Stone thinking it's oh, deja vu. Fucking motherfuckers. We're going to take a look at that accidental headbutt. Seconds out! There it is. That's clearly accidental. There's no way you can see if Andrew did it on purpose. He's just du he's ducking to try and fire an uppercut counter, and they just bang heads. I think it was accidental too. I think Cortez was right. That's a that's a very good call. Going down round five. And things are getting a little 
dicey now for John Ruiz, who has the swelling under the left eye and the uh, headbutt to deal with, with blood on the forehead. And that blood could be coming into the eye area, into the eyes, obscuring his vision. The only bad field, spot, Bob. Only feel keeping Ruiz on the, on the retreat. John can't fight going backwards. He's getting through with that left hand on the inside, working the body and the jaw. Ruiz backing up, which is not what he wants to be doing. Ruiz, his face getting bloodier and bloodier as the round goes on. And that blood has nothing to do with the butt. That has to do with that uppercut on the inside and Evander through. He was working well on the inside with it. The blood streaking down Ruiz's nose. Press row scoring. Bernard Fernandez has it even. Dan Raphael and Steve Springer have Ruiz ahead at this juncture. I have it even myself. But Ruiz certainly looking the worst for wear, but he may he may be ahead. This round is Holyfield's clean though. Look at all the blood. And Holyfield's where oh big left hook by Van, the best punch of the night. Well, right, that got the attention of Ruiz, who looks shaky. Midway through the fifth. Holyfield really loading up now. I was just going to say, Steve, he's loading up one at a time. It's not it. Bang, bang, bang. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ruiz sticking the jab. And then again, smothering Holyfield. Always too strong for John this time. Crowd chanting for Holyfield. by John Ruiz, the man coming forward. Now it's reversed. Ruiz's face is a mess. But he just keeps coming forward. He is game. He's digging these twisting uppercuts to the body and jaw of Holyfield. But again, not really to his advantage to be fighting on the inside this close for the Vander Holyfield. A flurry by Holyfield. Back comes Ruiz, though, showing tremendous result. This round was pretty much advantage. John made it closer, but I don't know if he could win the round. Holyfield oh, dominated the first two minutes so much. And John is really looking the worst for wear now with that eye and that blood. It's everywhere. Looks like the beaten fighter, but you don't know that on the scorecards. Get the eyes on his back. I'm going to do it. Where do you have Inchwell for his eye? Hey, go! Right here. No right here. Second, for Christ's sake! Give us a break here! Norman. Norman. Give us a break here! Cortez ignoring Stone. Come on, Johnny. Come on, baby. He's still in this fight, kid. Just go on this Come fight. On. Come on. Come on, Johnny. Deep, deep, Stay in it. Stay with it. I'll fight one up that eye. Don't worry about it. Come on. Vander Holyfield gets better of John Ruiz. Big body shot and then the hook up top. John Ruiz didn't really wobble that bad. Another look from over there. Didn't really wobble that bad. I think the body shot right there bothered him more than the head shot. And there's the good hook. Yeah, that was a little bit more of a glancing blow than it looked like. Come on, Get they feverishly work on the face of John Ruiz, who still still comes out all bloodied. Round six. Armstone continuing to berate Joe Cortez. You know, I'm, I'm going to say this to him. It's just one of those things. John Ruiz jumps down, ducks down, comes down. Sometimes when you come down and the other fighter comes down, you're going to bang heads. That's just part of the way the game's played. Holyfield turning it up, a right hand by Ruiz that scores. Then he holds on. See, the physical nature of this fight on the inside is John Ruiz is getting the worst of it right now. But Holy's not out punching that significantly. And the fans again rallying behind what many think is the sentimental favorite, Evander Holyfield. Some feel the man of sympathy is Ruiz after thinking he was robbed in the, the first fight. Ruiz looking for a little second win here, I believe. Evander slowing up again. I'm, I'm not quite sure. 
He's hesitating. I don't know if he's got. His, he's out of rhythm. He's out of sync. Well, he's pressing. He's backing Ruiz up. But he's not throwing. Now he throws. Finally, one jab, but that's it. Overhand right blocked by the left arm of Ruiz. Dicks to the body with the left. See, John can't fight going backwards. He, there's no way he can win this fight going backwards. He's got to come forward. But Evander is too strong for him this time out. All right, break out, break out, break out, Green, break out. Punches again being blocked by the arms and gloves of Ruiz. They sound good. Get him out. Get him out. But not Get effective. Out of there. Body shot, then an uppercut. Good double left by Ruiz. Holyfield countered back with left hook, but it was just one. He needs to pull more punches. That was one of the keys to just throw, use his overall skills. And a nifty right uppercut to the chin by Ruiz on the inside. There's only been one really good combination by John Ruiz in this round. He's taken a lot of the round off. There's only 40 seconds left in the round. He spent three quarters of the round backing up. Holyfield missing. on the inside working the body and that uppercut lands it nice Evander only responds with one hook back from the outside the best right hand of the round if not the fight for John Ruiz and he got he tried to steal the end of the round then Evander came back I thought Evander out working for the majority of the round very 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 close round The sixth round is in the books, and Don Turner wasn't exactly correct. Holyfield made some of the adjustments, not all of them, and he hasn't made them as effectively as we all anticipated he might. Turner said it wouldn't go past six unofficially. What do you see? I have it four to two for Evander, but the, you know, to round the winner close, they're not big runaways. But see, here, he's the effective aggressor this, this entire fight pretty much now, what John was in the first fight, and he's outworking John. The whole first two minutes of the last round, all Evander John had a, a spurt there, but then he answer answered the spurt, so it's not enough to steal the round. But John's doing nothing. And the crowd, boom. If the round stays like this without a punch being thrown, you give it to Evander because he's coming forward. I'm not sure uh, what's in Ruiz's mind right now. He must he might just be exhausted. He got hit with a nice right hand just now, and I saw a little funny wobble in his leg. Yes. Maybe delayed reaction, maybe not. And he loads up with that right hand, but that was it, one and done. He just looked up at he the clock. Up. That's not yeah. a good thing. He did look up. I just noticed that as well, Bobby. It's a bad thing when you're looking up at the clock in the seventh round. He's now counting the seconds before this thing is over. Because he, you can see it in his face, the punishment he has absorbed to this point. But you know that Holyfield wants to make a statement here. He doesn't want to go to the judges. He wants to knock Ruiz out. Well, he started to make some of the statement. He hasn't made all of the statement. He's not throwing the combinations again, punches Boy, and bunches. Every once in a while, though, Holyfield gets pushed back, and a left hook there did it by Ruiz. Ruiz being extremely deliberate here in round seven. Get him out of there. Come on, get him out. Let's go. Get him out. Don't be holding the head. 
It's as if they're in slow motion here all of a sudden. Hey, break out. Ruiz so banged up. Being pushed back again by Holyfield. On the inside, Holyfield with some tough shots to the stomach of Ruiz. There's a nice shot on the top of the head by Evander, but John reacts well. No questioning Ruiz's heart. But Ruiz, Ruiz just got staggered. He ate a big left hand. And now he tries to come back with a right of his own. But he is courageous. And he can barely see out of the left eye. Take the eye. Not the ball. That's all. I got it, buddy. Uh, sorry, Gabe. No, don't worry about nothing. Come on, Chandler. You gotta move your hands. You're not moving your hands. He's, He's getting tired. Block, you're not getting tired. He's getting tired now. You gotta move your hands. You're doing. You're walking around doing nothing in there. They're stealing all these rounds, Johnny. Come Tony, on now. Tony, this is what he's doing. Left, left, right. He's making the fast. Up. I know what That's you're right. telling, Don. Boogie he up. needs to boogie up boogie and let up. his hands go. You know, everybody go. can't talk in the corner. You're right. I'm talking right now. You boogie up and let your hands go, babe. Come on, Vander. Let him go. This guy's gone, babe. Pur purpose right now. You're going to have to do two rounds. You're going to boogie up and boogie right, up again. He pulls your whip. Seconds up. Holyfield Let's probably landed his best punch of the fight. That left hook right in the forehead, and you see John's leg just right there. It buckled. You couldn't see it on the screen, but it did buckle. And you can see in Ruiz's corner, they just told him, you're letting him steal all these rounds. You're not working. You're letting him steal the rounds. They know he's losing the rounds because he's not working. Same way I thought Ruiz stole the rounds from Holyfield in the first fight. It's been, it's been reversed so far. Well, let's see if Ruiz can turn it up a little bit here in round eight. It's scheduled for 12, the WBA Heavyweight Championship. The first fight oh, was for the vacant up, title. Up. Now Holyfield oh, has it. Coming in with the head, watch out. But things have slowed considerably. <laughs> Ruiz has to do more. <laughs> Holyfield is missing pretty badly with the right hand. His timing's off. He's not timing John's duck. John keeps leaning to the side. And Holy keeps going right over his shoulder with that right hand. We have to figure, say Mike Tyson is watching, Lennox Lewis is watching. They have to be wringing their hands looking at Holyfield. I don't think Lennox Lewis and Holyfield oh. would actually sell, but it might. A left-right combination of the head by Ruiz. Tyson said he wants to fight the winner of this fight, but he's got a fight penciled in May 19th with David Izon. Half the round just about over. Very little action. Bobby, do you think Holyfield looks better or Ruiz looks worse? <laughs> a little of both. Hold it, hold it. Let's go. A little of both. Some of the defensive moves Evander's making are sharper and a little more subtle. John's not as aggressive. He's clearly not as aggressive. He's not outworking Holyfield the way he did the first time, I thought. Evander's landed more. He's worked much harder on the inside. It's just still not the Evander Holyfield that I think I thought was coming. Holyfield, who said he'd knock out Ruiz, and a lot of people thought he was going for an early KO, but it's now round eight. Left uppercut. Oh! And nice. that, uh, that got into the right eye of Holyfield as heads came together. Might be some loose tape, yeah, on the left glove of Ruiz, and uh, Holyfield winced. He got hit in the eye with the uppercut, and he kind of maybe stuffed his eyelashes in his eye. was blinking a little bit. Okay. May have sort of gotten slashed by the lacing of Ruiz's gloves. And a left uppercut followed by a straight left by Ruiz who's suddenly come alive. Exact same punch that he used to make him wince earlier that left uppercut. Oh, oh, oh. Ruiz suddenly with some confidence oh, oh, oh. Don't put down, my man. Don't put as Holyfield down. pulls Ruiz's head down, a tactic he used a lot of in the first fight. Stop, stop, stop. Let's 
Marshall. Final seconds of round eight. As Ruiz misses with the right hand before the bell. Take, take, what's take? Don't get excited. Sit down, Holy. I got it. I got it. Lift it up. He moves to his right. Bump left when he moves right. A little water. Hear that? You got to move your feet. So let me off the hook. He was ready to put three rounds when let him off the hook. You can't let him off the hook. He'll be up inside right now. Right this minute. You're going to go to work. I don't think John Ruiz throws that left uppercut on the inside right there. Hits Holyfield right in the eye. You watch him see him. He blinks. He either got the eyelashes or the glove itself in his eye. It looked like a clean shot. No, it was a clean second shot, but a great second just, second. he just poked him in the eye. The angle <laughs> got him, yeah. Let's go, second zone. And there's a moose. House, I should say, a developing. Looks like a moose under the right eye of Holyfield. He can't use moose, he has no hair. Yeah, that's right. Round nine. Break out, break out, break out clean. A mouse the size of a moose. All right, stop. Break out. Once again, Holyfield looking a little better than the first fight, but again, this is not the Evander Holyfield that the fans of him know and love. Well, I'll tell you, I can't help but under can't understand why he's not throwing the jab. I can't help but think if his corner tells him double, triple jab, and then fire the right hand to the body. This way, if John leans and hits something, come up with the hooker uppercut. Then both fighters looking tired now. Nice right hand by Holy. Holy filled with a burst of energy. The press row scoring. Bernard Fernandez still has it even. Dan Raphael and Steve Springer have Ruiz ahead by two. I have 77 75 for Evander. I think he's carrying the fight. Most of the time. Last round I gave to Ruiz. But three rounds before that, Evander chased him around the ring and banged him. Got the better money inside. In fighting is hard to see from the press row sometimes. I'm lucky and fortunate that I know the game, but it's right here in our face. Right, stop, stop, if it ended stop, stop, now, Ruiz would win by majority decision. Midway through the night, scheduled for 12. Holyfield missing with the left hook. He's just slow to react to Holyfield's telegraphing the punches. Ruiz, the right uppercut, but a countering right hand by Holyfield. Holyfield hit him with a nice left hook on the way back, and now he's sensing something. He rocked and rolled on him, but he missed him. You see him coming, he senses that John's a little staggering there. And his other eye looks cut, too. Ruiz may be shaky here. And he's trying to hold on. Left up, cut him inside too. Ru Ruiz really taking a lot here now. His legs are getting a little rubbery too. You can see he's a little tired, but they're not sturdy. Ruiz on very wobbly legs. Bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out. His face is really looking ugly. Continues to score. Oh, big body shot. Double hook. Countering shots by Holyfield. Ruiz absorbing a tremendous amount of punishment here in round nine. And he'll be happy to hear the bell. We can do it, baby. I'm telling you, we can do it, Gabe. Let me get both of them. Relax, relax. Sorry. He's, he's laying the jab. Laying the jab. Yo, come on, do something. Do your job. Wake up. Somebody take the water. I'm going to do the take. Hold me, Marjorie. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Johnny, you want to be. Vander Hovey gets the better of it on the inside. There's the nice right hand. And as they go on the inside, Holy hits him that left hook, busts that other eye open. That punch was one that seemed to make his legs get a little unsteady for a while. Here's John Ruiz holding on. But that eye came out of that exchange worse. 
Later on, there's a nice right uppercut, but then right, Vander counters with the left hook. And again, he's pressing and he's winning the combinations. He's winning the contact. So far, it's better, but it's still not the Vander Holyfield I thought I'd see. As mentioned earlier, different judges from the first fight, and you wonder if the judges will overcompensate because of what happened in that first fight. Being well aware, the judges here are Chuck Giampa, Patricia Jarman Manning from Vegas, and Stanley Christodoulou from South Africa. All right, stop, break, bring out, bring out, clean. Round 10. <laughs> John Ruiz now almost never coming for it. Waiting on Evander, waiting on Evander. That's not John's fight. I can't help but think that maybe he's hurt or tired. Something's wrong. That he's not fighting his fight. Our online scoring is so heavy tonight that we've had sort of a crash in the online area, so uh, we have to hold off on uh, providing it with those scores. A heavy right hand. That was a right hand. That was. Yeah, that was good. Ruiz is claiming it was behind the head. But it looked pretty good. It was right in the ear. I didn't understand that one. He hit him right in the ear. Look how red his ear is. Bring out, bring out, bring out. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't think the first fight was a great fight. I don't think this fight's a great fight. Vander clearly looks better. Sharper's getting hit less. John Reese absorbing a lot more punishment than he did in the first fight. Constantly going backwards. I can't understand why he's going backwards so much. Right, bring, bring he's holding on an awful lot. The first half of the fight wasn't uh, bad. There was some uh, dramatic stuff there, but it has really uh, come to a halt here. And uh, there goes Ruiz. Low blow. Uh, as the result of a low blow. Low blow, low blow. One point. It took a point from Evander. One point, low blow. He's got five minutes One point, low blow. to recover, and if he doesn't, he loses. Okay. You know the sad part Please, about that rule? Okay. Please, I set up, Ruiz. Okay, Ruiz. Ruiz, you got to five minutes. From the looks of things, he's going to make use of those five. Got five minutes. I find it to be an odd rule, though. It could be serious damage, and that won't let you run him, run him walk in five minutes. Never mind, fight. Slowly getting to his feet. Dying, you got five minutes. Five minutes, you can walk it off. Evander. Evander, get in that corner. Get in that corner. He's got about four minutes left now, or else he uh, point. automatically he loses. Five minutes. It's not only the low blow. Look at his face. Look under the left eye, over, over the nose. He's gotten hit hard in the ears uh, of course uh, he claims he had a broken eardrum in the first fight you, you, you can walk it off you got, you got you can walk it off well i tell you what uh, bobby if he comes back and I'm continues to fight after this uh, scenario nobody can yeah. question ruiz's heart well i clearly think that he's got heart he's shown his bravery in the past and this is just one of those three more minutes ugly situations he's got about three minutes but i'll tell you right now all things being equal, if I'm Evander Holyfield, I jump on him. Blood dripping from his nose and his forehead. Holyfield and Ruiz's trainer, Norm Stone, exchanging words. He still got two minutes. I bet you they were not all nice. No. Ruiz now trying to slowly to walk it off. Holyfield gazing into the crowd, meantime. How He's many got? How many times we got left? Two minutes and 40 seconds left. And then Ruiz has He's to continue fighting. Time. Vander Holyfield right above us, just looking down very quietly, almost uh, introspectively. All right, you ready? You ready? All right, All right Ruiz in. had about two minutes left. Time in. And so he needed about uh, three minutes to recover. Here we go. 
Let's see if Holyfield jumps on him now when he's got Ruiz in some trouble, which he didn't do in the first fight. Well, he's making more of an effort already. Four punch combination, right, nice shot to the body. He's not got his rhythm down. He's not got his timing Holyfield completely right yet. Oh, a low blow by Ruiz. The left hand was below the belt by John Ruiz. That one was way south of the border, too. Let's go. But it obviously really didn't hurt uh, Holyfield. Oh, no. Break out, break out, break out. That one, that one had, went upward to hit the low blow. So some retaliation by Ruiz. Oh, stop, stop, Just about stop. had it with see Holyfield. Now, see, now here's a round I thought Holyfield won, but because of the low blow, it's an even round. Inside. See, Evander's right, winning the right, inside. Right, John right, keeps right, consistently right. trying to tie him up. Evander's too strong for him on the inside. Donnie, Donnie, you ever hear to say the championship rounds? This is it, baby. This is it. This is it. You're not going to get any more breaks. Give him some water, boy, over here. John, you're not gonna get any more breaks. Jab and move, jab and move. Give me every inch of fucking energy you got, baby. This is it, John. Come on, you're gonna be the first on Tino in the world. Come on, baby, you want it? Second Come on, Johnny. Fight. You're gonna fight, you gotta fight, champ. Don't fight him, Johnny, just box him. Move your hands. Come on. That's what it's all about, Johnny. Go in there and move your hands. You want to be Holyfield starts the Lobo action. South of the border, and then a nice left hook to the jaw. I think the shot to the jaw are worse than the low blow. Accidental retaliation, maybe, but that one was low. That one was way low. Norm Stone is leading with John Ruiz as we enter the championship rounds. In fact, there was a difference of opinion there in that round. Gabe Lamarca going, fight him, fight him. And Stone says, no, box him, box him. Jab and move more. Walked into a three-punch combination. Oh, we to see. Up, he's up, just diving up, into Holyfield and holding on now. He's not fighting, and that's detrimental in the scoring. A championship fight that has lapsed into a battle of head clashing elbows and low blows. Down goes Holyfield. Early in round 11, Holyfield down and he's bloody. They bang heads, Steve. I don't know if we got that on close, but they bang the heads and then Luis hit him. Down for the fifth. Come on, let's go. Let's go. It has developed into a wild one. Again, Ruiz jumping on Holyfield. Holyfield's in trouble. He's coming this way now. And they almost came through the ropes in our left. Holyfield stumbling and bumping around. Ruiz is trying to knock him out. Evander is out on his feet, Steve. He absolutely cannot get his legs under. This crowd is going berserk. Coming up on 20 seconds remaining in round 11. 
right here they slam into each other. I thought I saw a head. If not, no, it was just a good right hand. Ruiz caught him with a good right hand and Holy hit the deck. He stayed hurt. There it is. A shot to the temple, Steve. Pure and simple. I scored that round 10 7 for Ruiz, which brings my scorecard dead even. He took up all the slack that Holyfield worked in the middle round. So here we go. As they touch gloves, this could be the deciding round, the 12th and final round for the title. Does the 38 year old Nevada Holyfield have enough left after getting hit pillar to post in the 11th? Exhausted. This should be a very interesting round. Holy with the stronger punches right now, Steve. Holyfield blinking repeatedly. The battered face of John Ruiz right in front of him. Two minutes to go in the 12th. Bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up here. Let's go. Holyfield may need a stoppage here. To win the fight. I'll tell you what, Steve, on my scorecard, whoever wins the last round wins the fight. Oh, yeah, I've worked a lot to win, but I've got last round three points, 10-7. That was huge for John Ruiz. Halfway through the 12th, Ruiz again pouring it on. He's not really leaning too much there, though. Oh, he's just ducked under. Not real effective. Less than half the round is left. We come up on the final minute of the fight. And his left eye is bleeding too. The left eye of Holyfield looking very bad. Straight right hand of the head by Ruiz. Holyfield blocked that. You can see him. He telegraphed that too. He held his hand out. You saw that one coming. See that jab coming. Up, he he up, likes up. to taste it because bring he up, ate that one flush. Come on, man. Well, I'd hate to up, be scoring up. this fight. Repeat or redemption, I said before. I think we may have repeat, and there is no redemption. Overhand right by Ruiz. Series of punches by Ruiz with 15 seconds to go in the fight. Let's see who finishes the stronger of the two. Oh, two exhausted, bruised fighters. Here we go, final second. Oh, bring up, bring up, bring up. And that's it. his arms to hold the Puerto Rican flag and he gets hugs and embraces all around from from his corner people Norm Stone Gabe LaMarca it was dramatic 
in the first part of the fight and at the end, but kind of sluggish in the middle. You'll recall, they didn't embrace at all after the first fight. They embrace now. Well, they embrace now because I do believe that John Ruiz thinks he's got this in the bag, and I have a funny feeling they wouldn't embrace so readily if he gets robbed again. <laughs> you got a pretty good point. Tremendous job in the corner come on, come on. by John Ruiz's people. Unbelievable, really, when you think about it, how they kept inspiring him and urging him on, particularly in that 11th round. He said, you know what they call this? The championship rounds, and, and Ruiz rose to the occasion. Incredible coaching in the corner of Ruiz, win or lose. You know what, Steve, I'll put it to you this way. I think John Ruiz is going to get this decision just because of the first fight. But I remember toward the end of my career thinking to myself, punches that weren't supposed to hurt, hurt. We'll see, Van, it's time to get out. Well, I think Jimmy Lennon Jr. is ready with the decision. So let's go to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, the judges are in agreement. We have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Patricia Jarman Manning, scores about 114 to 111. Judge Chuck Jumpa scores about 115 to 111. Judge Stanley Christodoulou sees about 116 to 110. Ball three in favor of the winner and the new heavyweight champion of the world, El Primer Campeón Latino de Peso Completo, Quiet Man, John Ruiz. He's done it. Ruiz gets his justice in his sweet redemption. He felt he had something to prove. defeat from the first meeting. He sucked it up in the championship round, Steve, and that's what one and four, two and three point the rounds there. The I had him behind by a couple of points. He catapulted in front and closed it out in the 12th round, showing what he's made of. You know what? He's a real nice guy. Yeah. Unanimous decision for the first fighter of Latino descent to win a share of the heavyweight title. being displayed here. Johnny, you're great. You're the best. Meanwhile, Evander Holyfield gave no indication he'd retire even if he lost. And tonight, All right, here. Right here. Here we go. he did. So could we have a Ruiz Holyfield three? We'll be finding out shortly. Here's Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much, Steve. Obviously, the elation here in the corner of Johnny Ruiz, Norm Stone. Johnny, this was an all-out war. Your eye closed up in the second round. How did you manage to keep your composure this time and fight so hard and knock off a four-time champion? Hey, I, I was coming for what belongs to me, and that's the belt, and I'm coming home with it. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. Did you feel as though you were behind when you knocked him down in the 11th round? I just wanted to get over it. I wanted to be on him, and I just wanted to knock him out. I want to prove to the world that I still got the punch. Even though I died at the end last time, not this time. Yeah. Were you concerned? Did you see uh, sort of a deja vu happening again? No. You seemed to take off uh, rounds five, six, and seven. You seemed to be very inactive and, and moving backward. Hey, it's whatever works. I mean, he was, I was just trying to get him tired, trying to make a move. Wow. And he was trying to make a move. He was trying to get it tired. And I stepped it up. What was your frame of mind going into the 12th round? Did you feel you had a comfortable lead? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you never know in Vegas and in boxing, you never know. But, uh, you know, now it's one thing only is show me the money. How, how much, Johnny, how much did the low blow in the 10th round give you a chance to revitalize yourself, take some time, gain your composure? You know, I was down. He was elbowing me. I was hit me once in a while. And I, you know, I was getting tired of it, you know what I mean? There was getting warnings, but no points taken out. We did it on We did it on credit cards! And now he gave you a rematch, Johnny. I know it's early, you're going to enjoy this moment. He gave you a rematch. 
would you consider and would you fight Evander Holyfield again and give him a rematch? No, he made me wait for a little while, so I'm going to make him wait, too. <laughs> so I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Boston. So right there. I'm going to go to Puerto Rico. So my, hey, am I coming? Uh, does that no, mean no, or does that mean <laughs> at a future date? Huh? Does that mean no, or is that at a future date that you would consider fighting hey. him again? Like, like you say, you know, he gave me, he gave me a rematch. If he wants to fight again, we're gonna do it. What will you want to do now? I know this is all setting in, but where do you go from here? Who do you want to fight? I gotta go Mike Tyson. Well, I'm gonna spend some time with my kids. I miss very much. I love you, Johnny and Dawson. I'm coming home. Woo! I'm bringing you a present. <laughs> How about being? How about becoming the first Latino champion? I know that's something very important to you. First Latino. It's a great feeling. The great I love it. I love it. Right here. The greatest. What about the fight, man? Evander. Evander. Evander, you've been a, a tremendous champion. Did you feel? Did you feel as though you were winning this fight up until you got knocked down in the 11th round? Well, you know, I, I felt that I win the fight. I went out there and I was fighting, fighting a smart fight, and I felt that you know he kept his head low. And it was, you know, I, I did the things. I couldn't hit him with a good shot because he, you know, it was awkward. And, you know, I, you know, I, that's no excuse. If you can, here's a guy come out and hit me on purpose low. And, you know, just because I ain't fall down the knees and do an acting road, and, and, you know, that count is nothing. But, you know, he, he hit me down there a couple of times that way. Did you feel as though you won this fight? Were you surprised with this decision? Of course I'm very surprised. You know, but, you know, a lot of time if you don't get a guy out there, you know, these things happen. Evander, let's take a look at the knockdown, which occurred here in the 11th round. And tell us from your vantage point what happened. Well, you know, I, did, I didn't see the shot. I, did, I didn't see the shot, and uh, and uh, and uh, and you know, he, 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 he called me. You know, I, I, I didn't see the shot. It basically took you the entire round to recover, didn't it? Well, well, yeah, pretty much. Because you know, I didn't see a shot. Bland shot. He, yeah, as you see, he hit me, hit me in the temple. So you know, I, I didn't, I didn't see the shot. How much do you think the low blow worked to his favor by taking a lot of time there on a blow that we replayed? Looks like it's low, but not all as bad as, as it was made out to be. How much do you think that time helped him? Well, it helped him a lot. You know, it's, the one thing is that if you hit a man on the tip of the cup, it's not really a low blow. It's red, red on the belt. Uh, it came off the day he hit me there on purpose. And, you know, I could have I could have job and took five minutes just to get a point out, you know, but the referee should have seen that it was a blatant shot. Where do you go from here, Evander? We talked before the fight. There are going to be an awful lot of people who are going to tell you, like they told you before the fight, you know, it's time, Evander. Well, you, you people said what they like and stuff like, my goal still is to be the undisputed heavyweight champ of the world. And I still would be, you know. I get back in line. I know you want to give due respect to Johnny Ruiz, but when you were at your peak fighting great, this man would have been a sparring partner for you. Does that disappoint you? Well, wait, no, no, because, you know, the guy got an awkward style. You know, my whole thing, I look very good in the gym and like that. That particular style, you know, just kind of difficult. But, you know, um, in, in one sense or another, you know, I, I just go back to training camp and just work a little bit more. Would you like to fight him for a third time? I, well, I would love to fight him again. You know, hopefully I will, you know. And, you know, it may to be seen. Is that blood or is that a tear? Well, you know, it's blood. You know, I, there ain't no tears of my eyes. You know, I... Uh, you know, you, when you work hard, you go out and you do your very best, you know, and Lord, get all the praise. Evander, you've given us a lot of thrills. Congratulations. And we look forward to seeing you again if that's what you desire. Thank you. All right, Steve, back to you. Thank you very much, Jim. And many eyes, Holyfield, uh, the loser of both fights with uh, uh, John Ruiz. And in Holyfield's own words, you got to know when your season's up. And uh, from this vantage point, I think season's the time up. has come. The season is up. And he used the same excuse uh, here tonight as he did in the first fight that Ruiz has an awkward style.